Welcome to the Wizard of Math with Mr. Ahmed Abdel Waris, and we will learn in this video how to solve the equation x minus 12 over x minus 4 plus x minus 11 over x minus 5 plus x minus 10 over x minus 6 plus x minus 9 over x minus 4 equals to negative 4. After beginning the solving, please don't forget like to the, this video, share the video, comment on our video to support us, and subscribe in our channel to know all videos. Now we will start to solving this equation. Number one, we will distribute negative four in all terms in the other side. But when movement negative four from the right hand side to the left hand side will be equal 4 and we will make 4 equal 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then we will adding 1 to all fractions then we will get x minus 12 over x minus 4 plus 1 plus x minus 11 over x minus 5 plus 1 plus x minus 10 over x minus 6 plus 1 plus x minus 9 over x minus 7 plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, this is the first part. Second part. Third part. And finally, fourth part. Okay, how to find the sum between these two terms? Make a common denominator, x minus 4, then x minus 12 plus x minus 4. Okay, remember how to make it. x minus 12 over x minus 4 plus 1 we will, be, will be x minus 4 over x minus 4. Then the common denominator x minus 4 and the numerator x minus 12 plus x minus 4. By the same way, it will be equal x minus 11 plus x minus 5 over x minus 5 plus x minus 10 plus x minus 6 over x minus 6 plus x minus 9 plus x minus 7 over x minus 7 equals to 0. Okay, now we will simplify all of numerators. x minus 12 plus x minus 4 equals to 2x minus 16 over x minus 4 plus x minus 11 plus x minus 5 equals 2x minus 16 over x minus 5 plus x minus 10 plus x minus 6 equal 2x minus 16 over x minus 6 plus 2x minus 16 over x minus 7 equals to 0. Okay, look at all numerators equal to x minus 16, then we can take 2x minus 16 as a common factor between all fractions, then we will get 2x minus 16 times 1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 6 plus 1 over x minus 7 equals to 0. Okay? From the first bracket, the product between two brackets equals 0. Then 2x minus 16 equals to 0. Then we can get 2x minus 16 equals to 0. Then x equals 8. It's the first value of x to satisfy the equation. Okay? Okay. Now we will complete.
1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 6 plus 1 over x minus 7. We will make this expression as grouping. We will take the first fraction with the fourth fraction, second fraction with the third fraction, and they make the common denominator between these two fractions. Then x minus 4 times x minus 7 plus x minus 5 times x minus 6. How to get the denominator? x minus 7 times 1 equal x minus 7 plus x minus 4 times 1 equal x minus 4. By the same way, x minus 6 plus x minus 5. Okay, equals to zero. Then x minus seven plus x minus four equals two x minus eleven over x minus four times x minus seven equals to x power two minus eleven x plus twenty eight plus x minus 6 plus x minus 5 equals to 2x minus 11 over x power 2 minus 11x plus 28 equals to 0. Okay, then we will find 2x minus 11 as a common numerator, then we will take this as a common factor, then 2x minus 11 over 1 over plus 1 over. Okay, equals to 0. x power 2 minus 11x plus 28 and x power 2 minus 11x plus 30, sorry, not 28, 30. Okay, then we will put x power 2 minus 11x plus 28 equals to L. Then the other denominators equal L plus 2. Because L equal x power 2 minus 11x plus 28 plus 2 equal 30. Okay? Okay. Then the product between two products equals 0. Then one of them equals zero, then two x minus eleven equal zero, then the second value of x two x minus eleven equal to zero, then x equal eleven over two. This is the two value of x satisfy the equation. Okay, complete. How to find the sum between these two fractions? Make a common denominator L times L plus 2, then the numerator L plus 2 plus L equals to 0. Okay, then 2L plus 2 equals to 0. Then L equals to negative 1. Okay, but L equal x power 2 minus 11x plus 28, then x power 2 minus 11x plus 28 equals to negative 1. Okay, then x power 2 minus 11x plus 29 equals to 0. How to solve this equation? By using the general law to solve the second degree, we will find x equal 11 plus root 121 minus 4 times 29 over 2, then equal plus or minus 11 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Then we have a new two values of x satisfy the equation, then x equal
11 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Then we have four values of x. x equal 8, x equal 11 over 2, x equal 11 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Four values of x satisfy the equation we have. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe in our channel, like and share and comment our video. Thank you and goodbye.